Hello, Warriors of Light, and welcome to my 43rd weekly podcast. Today, I will be going over the ongoing PvP Series 6, Battle Events Called Fates, Advice on Clearing Trials Named Endwalker Extremes, the ongoing special event called Moogle Treasure Trove, the ongoing seasonal event called All Saints Wake, the collaboration event with another game called Fall Guys, and my thoughts on Final Fantasy XIV so far. Today is October 26, 2024. So, PvP Series 6 is ongoing and a great opportunity for gamers to obtain rare items. As previously mentioned, I found that using a feature in Duty Finder called Frontline is a great way to power level through the battle series in addition to using another feature in Duty Finder called Casual Match found under the PvP menu. Duty Finder allows gamers to enroll in different battles, and the feature called Casual Match allows gamers to enroll in 5 versus 5 battles. Duty Finder can be found from the main menu under the option called Duty. Also, gamers should be made aware that after the battle series ends, these rare items will not be available. And gamers should try to enroll for these battles during peak hours, like weekday afternoons and nights, and the weekends to gain battle points faster. So, moving on to my next topic, Fates or battle events are open area battles found in Final Fantasy XIV and are also known as full active time events. Gamers can use these battle events to gain experience points, obtain rare items, and earn achievements. I highly recommend gamers participate in these battle events to level up faster and learn more about the Final Fantasy XIV folklore. Next, trials called Endwalker Extremes have been a hot topic lately. And since these trials can be cleared with an optional battle enhancement called Echo, a lot of gamers are trying to clear them. The enhancement called Echo can be selected under Duty Finder settings, and then choosing the unrestricted party option. So, I will go over some tips for clearing each extreme for the first time and recommend gamers use 700 level gear or above. For the trial named Mount Ordeal Extreme, Gamers can dodge most attacks and possibly want to set up circular positions for the attack called Radial Conflagration. For the trials named Storm Crown Extreme, Minstrel's Ballad, Heidelin's Call and Minstrel's Ballad, Zodiac's Fall, gamers can also dodge most attacks and defeat the enemy boss. However, for the trial named Minstrel's Ballad, Ensinger's Area, Gamers need to bait the attack called Grip of Despair in the middle of the arena and have gamers with DPS rolls run east, while gamers with tank and healer rolls run west to break the tethers. And then move to the eight meteor positions to survive. I found this enemy boss attack to be one of the most difficult for this trial. So, for the trial named Voidcast Deus Extreme, there is a boss strike that knockbacks gamers, and the attack is one of the most difficult to survive. Gamers need to assign four positions around the center of the arena. Gamers with DPS roles should be knocked back north while gamers with tank and healer roles, also known as the support group, should be knocked back south. One DPS and one support gamer will receive flares and should not be pushed into the towers. So for the last trial called the Abyssal Fracture Extreme, two of the most punishing strikes are the attacks called the Black Hole and Fractured Eventide Attacks. One gamer will be marked with a black hole indicator and must move away from the enemy boss named Zero Miss on the other side of the arena, while the rest of the gamers move to a safe corner near the enemy boss to avoid the fractured eventide attack. Also, the other punishing strike is an attack called Meteor Impact, and gamers must avoid having their meteor trajectory turning red or they will risk losing the trial. Overall, I still think each extreme trial was very difficult. However, I was able to complete each trial weeks ago and obtain my full mentor certification. I highly recommend gamers try these extreme trials and become mentors themselves. So, the special event called Moogle Treasure Trove has already started and the Ultimog challenge or biggest task for this event is entering five portals using treasure maps. This is a great opportunity for gamers to obtain rare items. Gamers can participate in this event by speaking to a character called the Itinerant Moogle and obtain an item called the Mog Pendium. The Mog Pendium can also be accessed using the main menu and selecting the duty option and using the collection feature. So, gamers can use this item to complete tasks and earn artifacts called Irregular Tomestones. 
These artifacts can be exchanged for rare items. Next, the seasonal event called All Saints Wake has already started. And this is also another great opportunity for gamers to obtain rare items. Gamers can participate in this seasonal event by speaking to a character called the Pumpkin-Headed Apparition in an area called Old Gradinia and start the quest named the Aether Starved Ahermon. Next, the collaboration event with another video game called Fall Guys has already started. And this is also another opportunity for gamers to obtain rare items. Gamers can participate in this collaboration event by speaking to a character called the Well-Healed Youth in the area called Ulda, Steps of Nald, and start the quest named It Could Happen to You. So lastly, my thoughts about Final Fantasy XIV so far. So, as of today, I have leveled a fighting style modeled from past adventurers called Dancer to level 93, using quests found in Thavnir called Allied Society Quests, queuing more with the Avatar Trust system, completing battles found in the book named Wondrous Tales, destroying monsters called Hunt Marks in the recent expansions, and participating more in a feature found in Duty Finder called Daily Roulette. A few weeks ago I was also able to clear all the trials known as Endwalker Extremes and gain my mentor certification. This mentor certification will allow me to use another feature found in Duty Finder called Mentor. In addition, I had another chance this week to participate in the Moogle Treasure Trove event. This event uses an item called the Mog Pendium, and gamers can access this item through the main menu under the option called Duty and selecting Collection. The Ultimog challenge of the biggest task for this Moogle Treasure Trove event is entering five portals using treasure maps, and I completed this challenge this week. So, next week, I want to complete leveling the fighting style called Dancer, and leveling my next fighting style modeled from past adventurers called Dark Knight to level 100. So, that's all I have for my 43rd weekly podcast. If you enjoy my podcasts, you can subscribe to my English podcast channels on YouTube and Rumble, and my Russian channels on RuTube and VKontakt. Also, you can follow me on X, formerly known as Twitter, under Dynamist Ryan. I try to answer comments and questions found on my channels through my weekly podcasts. Feel free to post on my social media platforms and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time.